One's on the outside. One, 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 one. Add the two numbers above it. Two, one. One's on the outside. Add the two numbers above it. Three, three, one. One's on the outside. Add the two numbers above it. Six, four, one. One's Let's multiply out some of these binomials. Yeah. Um, a plus b to the zero, what's that? It's one, why? Because anything to the zero power is one. Okay, a plus b um, to the first, this is gonna be one a plus one b. plus 2ab plus b. Now I'm writing the invisible coefficients out in front, just for fun. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a plus b times a plus b times, Now I'm gonna write, now I'm gonna write, now I'm gonna write their coefficients. Yeah. to the fourth. Now let me just write these coefficients. Nice. Nobody wants to do that, right? That's a lot of multiplication. I want a cheaper and easier way to do this. Notice the coefficients. Bam, 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 bam. Notice the coefficients. Looks familiar. Now let's use this. Let's go through and remultiply those guys out this time using Pascal's triangle. Yeah, one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. Okay, this is one. Yes. This is A plus B. Uh huh. This is A squared plus. A, B plus B squared. Here I need to fill out the coefficients. This is one, this is two, this is one. Following my triangle. This one down here is one, three, three, one. And then how do the A's go? They go to the third. That's the three, that's the three, that's the three. Okay, plus three A squared B plus three a B squared plus one B to the third. The next one in the triangle. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. One, four, six, four, one. Now we need to fill in our A's and our B's. This is A to the fourth, because I'm looking at the binomial expansion. 4 plus a to the third b. Notice 3 and 1 is 4. Plus a squared b squared. Notice 2 and 2 is 4. Plus a b to the third. Notice 1 and 3 is 4. Plus 1 b to the fourth. Expanding out the binomial to the fifth. 
our coefficients are gonna be one, add those, five, add those, 10, add those, 10, add those, five, and then one's on the outside. Okay, now it's time to put in our A's and our B's. This is A to the fifth, because this is the binomial to the fifth power, plus A to the fourth, B to the first, four and one is five, plus A to the third, B to the second, because three and two is five, plus 10, A squared, B to the third, also five, plus five, A to the first, B to the fourth, plus one, B to the fifth. And that's how we can multiply out these binomials quite a bit more quickly. And now for a couple of quick examples on using the binomial expansion. Yeah, the binomial theorem, if you will. Okay, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna write out the form. A plus B to the fourth. That's gonna be one, four, six, four, one. B to the fourth. A, B to the third. A squared, B to the second, A to the third, B, A to the fourth, yes, yes. Then you wanted to identify your A. A is X, B is two. So now everywhere you see an A, you put an X. Use parentheses, this is X to the fourth, plus four times X to the third times two, plus six times, x squared times two squared plus four times x times two to the third plus, um, wait for it, two to the fourth. Finish him. All you have now left to do is cleaning that up. So this is x to the fourth plus four times two is eight x to the third. This is four times six plus 24 x squared plus, this is eight times four, 32 x plus four squared is 16. Yes. And you're done. Box it and grow one. Ooh, this next one. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write out the form. A plus B to the third. This is, this is coefficients. One, three, three, one. Now it's time to fill in the A's and B's. A to the three, uh-huh, plus three. A, B, whoa, they have to add the three. Plus A, B squared plus B to the third. Now you identify your A's and B's, rewrite this. This is two X plus a minus three. You did that so you can see what your A and what your B were. Uh-huh. Now that we've identified our A's and B's, let's fill it in. Ready, 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 ready. Everywhere by C and A, I put a two X, use parentheses. Two X to the third plus three times 2x squared times, what's my b? It's a minus three, yes. Plus three times 2x times a minus three squared plus a minus three to the third. Finish him. Yes, you do a little bit of this. Exponent properties, two to the third is eight. Great, x to the third plus four times three is Four times three is 12, times three is 36, and it's minus, because that one's minus x to the second. Plus, um, three squared is nine, times two is, let's do nine times three is 27, double it. There's a four, 54x, plus three to the third is 81. Ooh, no, that's 27, and it's gonna be minus, because that's minus three times minus three times minus three is minus 27. And then what? you And a flower. The signs alternate when you have a difference. you